All right, well, uh, thousands of construction workers in the United Kingdom have discovered they were placed on a secret employment blacklist which enjoyed police support. The illegal files deemed the victims, many of whom had complained of safety standards, uh, too left-wing and troublesome and led to their sackings and made re-employment near impossible. Our correspondent Laura Smith reports. Banned from working for speaking the truth, these trade unionists and whistleblowers are fighting back. After years of wondering why they couldn't get a job, these skilled engineers now know their names were on an illegal blacklist. In 2004, former union organiser Steve Headley was mysteriously sacked and for the next four years he wondered why he couldn't get another full-time job. Then a friend told him about a blacklist held by a private company and accessed by some of the UK's biggest construction firms. Sure enough, he uncovered a 16-page file on himself. It goes into detail about how I was sacked, what my political, uh, my political activities were, what my trade union views were, what part I was playing in the union. And they were, they, the employers were distributing this amongst themselves and uh, with this blacklisting organisation. Uh, they basically bar not only me but other people from employment. Much of the information in Headley's file is clipped from left-wing newspapers and union magazines, but some comes from a different source altogether, the police. I was in there named as a, a, a participant on an anti-fascist demonstration. Now this information hasn't come from the employers, it could only have come from the police. I mean, we, we don't agree with the employers keeping blacklists, it's an illegal thing. But it, it opens up a whole new dimension when the, the state security forces are getting involved in this. It, it almost smacks of a police state. Working on a building site is one of the most dangerous jobs in the UK. Last year alone there were 50 deaths in the construction industry. Many of the banned workers say the reason they're on the blacklist is because they blew the whistle on poor health and safety standards. Shortcuts they say construction companies make to increase profits. Files held by the now shut down consulting association show the police are complicit in companies exploiting workers and destroying anyone who stands up to them. Dave Smith from the Blacklist Support Group believes collusion comes from the very top of the force. It's not some, you know, on the beat Bobby who has just happened to have found out and passed on this information because why would any on the beat Bobby know that such a thing as the Consultant Association even existed? I believe it's at the most senior levels taking place, colluding with the directors of multinational companies against people that they don't like because of our trade union activities, because we raise concerns about unpaid wages and health and safety and because they didn't like our politics. Blacklisting devastates the lives of its victims, highly qualified people unable to use their skills. Steve Headley's marriage broke down. It made my life very uncomfortable. I've got a family to support. Um, when I was contracting, I was earning you know, £500 a day uh, because I was highly qualified. Uh, when all that money stopped, you can imagine it. It's, it's, it puts your house in jeopardy, it puts your family life in jeopardy, your relationships in jeopardy. You can't pay your bills anymore. The company that held Headley's file has now been closed down, but he and his colleagues believe there are more blacklists that haven't yet been uncovered. They say they'll fight until they know the extent of state security involvement in their persecution. Laura Smith, RT, London.